happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be testing more chrome powders that i got from timu i do have a previous video where i showed how to do chrome powders with like a pearlescent set that i got from timu so i'm gonna go ahead and leave that video link down in the description box below but i've since gotten some more colors in from timu and i want to show you guys how to chrome these because i've not actually chromed these types of powders before so this here is the palette so it comes with six colors and the sponge applicators, which have, they're dual ended. So uh, for one for each color. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here. So let's take a closer look. Go, go potty then. I will. So we got silver, gold, red, green, blue and purple and I honestly thought these colors would be perfect for the holidays this is a nice kind of Christmas New Year's palette so let's get to swatching y'all I do have some black nails already swatched out and ready to go I think for this this particular color color palette it's gonna be best to swatch it over top of a black polish and so I've already did two coats of the polishes and then um, the first thing you want to do when you're doing chrome nails is you want to go in with a no wipe top coat so I'm going to be going in with a no wipe top coat you can use it from from any brand really um, and just apply it to the whole nail like so and then you'll cure for 60 seconds after the nail has been cured for 60 seconds you want to go ahead and take your sponge applicator and I normally go in with the white side. I don't know that it actually matters. And you will just tap, tap, tap into the chrome. Actually, that didn't get a lot up. Okay, so you'll tap, tap, tap like that. And you, a little goes a long way, so that's all I'm gonna be using. Okay, y'all, yeah, tap, tap, tap. A little goes a long way. Um, so you'll go in and you wanna first just kinda tap it overneath the surface of the whole nail. Oh, wow, that looks good. And then from there, you want to start rubbing it in. So I'm going to grab a little bit more here. Oh, this is turning out really good. I love it. Wow. And then you just rub it on in. So this one is really nice because it creates that mirror effect. Okay. Let's see. You want to just make sure you have enough powder to chrome out the entire surface of the nail. Like so. Is, these are really this is really nice holy moly wow you guys yeah that looks pretty good to me I think I gotta work on how to get it um, chromed out nicely around the edges but that looks really nice so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next nail next I'm gonna chrome out the gold so I'm gonna take oops I'm gonna take the opposite seeing it I'm gonna take the opposite end of the same sponge applicator and kind of rub it in the palette a little bit. That picks up a little bit of the chrome. And then again, you wanna just tap well. Actually, maybe with this one, it's a little different. I think you just rub straight into it. I think with this one, you just wanna rub straight into the top coat. At first I would tap, 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 and then do it. I don't think you need to do that. I think if you just rub straight. Yes, Yara. I think if you just rub straight into the um the nail straight rub straight into that top coat you get a really nice finish like so yeah okay that is really nice look at that beautiful that is nice then next I'm gonna go in with the red so again you just want to swirl it around I picked up this much and then just rub straight into the top coat. Like so. That looks really cool. Oh yeah, that's nice. There's the red. Next, I'm going to go in with the purple here. And I think I'm going to just use the um, orange side of the applicator just to see if there's a difference with application. So again, you just go in and rub it in. Oh, that's pretty. I'm noticing that like once you start rubbing, just make sure you have a light touch as you're, as you're rubbing it in. And I think that helps to chrome around the edges. I think maybe I was rubbing too, too hard and it was kind of causing some of the color to come up. So, just go in with a nice soft touch when you're doing these chromes. 
that's pretty. That is so pretty, y'all. I'm loving these. Next, I'm gonna go in with my blue, okay? And you just wanna go in and pick up a generous amount and then just rub, just go ahead and rub straight on into that top coat and you'll get that chrome effect, you see? This is really cool. And again, make sure you have a soft touch, especially when you're going around the edges, that way you don't accidentally rub up any other chrome that you've already laid down. This is so pretty. Absolutely beautiful, love it. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go in with this green color here. Just rub it around. This is how much I have on the applicator. And again, just go ahead and rub up and down, and then it will start to chrome into that top coat. Really beautiful. So anytime you're rubbing it and you feel like the product is starting to pick up, go in with an even lighter touch and I think that's going to help it go ahead and lay flat to the nail. Anytime you feel like um, product is picking up, so say for instance like right, right now as I'm rubbing it, you see how the product's kind of, kind of coming up a little bit? If you just go in with a gentler touch, it'll actually go ahead and fill in the rest of that chrome space. So just play around with the different pressures that you're applying to the nail to make sure you get a nice even coverage, okay? And then <clears throat> you can always go in with a little bit more powder to make sure you really cover the space up and that it's fully opaque. These are some really beautiful chromes, you guys. I am loving them. Wow. Mommy? Yes, Yara. I think mommy This is beautiful. Okay, so now that all the nails are chromed out, okay? Actually, now that I know about that pressure, let me go ahead, I wanna try to finish up getting that silver right, okay? Now that I know. Yeah, see, you just gotta do a lighter touch. That's what my issue was with this silver nail. I was, I was rubbing too hard. So now I feel like I can get the edges really good. You just gotta go in with the softer touch. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, all right, so from there, this is what all the nails are looking like with the chrome applied. From there, you wanna go in and dust off any of the excess chrome on the nails, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. I'm just gonna just dust, dust it with a fluffy brush ever so lightly, okay? And then from there, made a little mess y'all but then from there you want to go in with a top coat so I do have a top coat um, that I've designated for glitters um, this top coat here um, I actually did another chrome set and, and contaminated the top coat so any top coat that you use for glitters is what you can use for this as well I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to all the nails and then we'll get back with the finished look okay go potty baby Ooh. wow this is beautiful, you guys. Y'all go potty. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Wow, you guys, this is so pretty. Now this is a, a metallic chrome. Oh my God, it's just so pretty. Wow, they're all so gorgeous. I absolutely love it, you guys. When I say beautiful, Oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous. 
So from here, you want to just go ahead and cure. And I'll be back and show you guys what the finished look looks like. All right, you guys. So this is how all of the chrome nails are looking. Daddy, OMG. Daddy. Yes, you are. Beautiful. Wow. They are looking absolutely gorgeous, okay? My favorite one is probably this silver chrome. I mean, it just looks like a mirror. Like, can you guys see me through it? Like, it's so cool. I absolutely love this palette. Oh my gosh. So yeah, and then this is what the gold looks like. So yeah, y'all. Yeah, you guys, I am loving how these chromes turned out. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, So, so far, I am a huge fan of the chrome powders that you can get from Timu. I mean, such a nice wide variety of different powders that you can have. Um, So this here is this palette. And the other palette that I got, let me see if I can find it real quick. And this here is the other palette that I got from Timu. So I'm a big fan of these palettes that, these chrome palettes that come like this. And they're not as messy as the loose chromes or whatnot. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I do have a discount code with Timu. I am going to leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below. If you guys missed my initial haul, I will go ahead and post that video as well. Let me know if there's any other nail art designs that you all are wanting to know how to do. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!